Welcome to the Game Ramble First League video for Pretty Girls 4 King Solitaire. My name is Dark Cloud and I'm joined by Nimby or Mrs. Cloud. This game is developed and published by Zoo Corporation and it's Solitaire with Calculation Rules, which is also known as 4 Kings. Mm -hmm, okay. so I guess Pretty Girls Calculation would uh, maybe have scared away more players than 4 Kings. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. See, apparently you have to clear the game by placing all the cards on the table in the specified order. Yeah, and as you can see, once again, the characters are all voiced, and this time there will be eight characters in the game. It's actually the 15th Pretty Girls game, so if you're a fan of the series, you should know what to expect by now. Mm -hmm. Check out some of our previous videos featuring... Yeah, we've covered a few of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got start, we've got dressing room, option, help, and exit. And I see it also keeps a record here of the total games, the last 20 games, and the difficulties. Very easy, easy, normal, hard, very hard. Okay, so let's take a look at the options first. We can set the background music volume, sound effects volume, and voice volume. You can also set to full screen or window, select the language, and set the resolution. This is a 2D title, so you don't need much more than that. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, maybe I should have uh, taken a look at the help screen first, because I don't actually know how to play. Uh... <laughs> Here we go. The game is clear if you can move all the cards to the table in specified order. One at the beginning of the game, there's a set of cards on the table. A deck of cards, hand of cards, field cards, and the table. Okay, so this is the deck, this is the hand. This is the field and this is the table. Mm -hmm. So far so good. The card is turned over from the deck and that card becomes your hand. The card in your hand can be put on the field or the, on the table. Cards in your hand are automatically replenished when you put them on the field or table. You can't move the cards you put on the table. You can place any suite on the table. The cards in your hand can be placed on the table only when the following conditions are met. Okay. To try to see these conditions here. So if it's a ace of spades, then the next one is a two. If it's a two, the next one is a four. If it's a three, the next one is a six. And if it's a four, the next one is an eight. It's a double. Looks like it. Yeah. Only the top card on the field can be moved to the table. Cards placed on the field cannot be moved to another pile on the, on the field. Okay, and here we have a diagram that shows <laughs> the four can go onto the T, that's correct, but the six cannot go onto the three because it's not on the top, and the four cannot go here because it's not the right card. Am I right? My assumption. Okay. You can move all the cards in the deck, hand and field to the table, you have cleared the game. Help functions, expose, replenish cards from the deck until you have five cards in your hand. You can only move the first card in your hand. Each time you use this function, 10 seconds are added to your time. Move, uh, usage limit 5, move one card from the field to the table. It automatically moves the card from the field to the table pile with the least number of cards. Each time you use this, 20 seconds are added to your time. In the shuffle, uses, usage limit 1, all the cards in the field are returned to the deck. Each time you use it, 60 seconds I added to your time. So I'm guessing time is going to be important for the rankings or leaderboards or whatever it is. And mm. these function basically as power-ups that you can use at the cost of some time. And how to operate, mouse, move the mouse. Keyboard and keyboard. get. Okay, yeah. so it's basically just move the mouse with the cursor and left drag to select and move yeah. a cart. Just like solitaire. And there we go with the credits. Okay. Hope you have remembered all of that. Mm -hmm. Counting on your assistance here. Mm. I'll admire the graphics. Okay, so we've got our character select here. Starting with Ayana, it looks like. Mm. There's also Yoko, Sion, and Ruri. So they're cute. Yeah, I like the bunny one. But it says very hard here, I don't want to challenge her yet. <laughs> Okay, so oh, I can select the difficulty here as well. Yeah. Okay, let's let's start with very easy. I want to <laughs> fail right off the bat. Okay. Mm. Start. So here we start. We've got the hints down here. Got an achievement unlocked for being brave enough to start the game. Mm -hmm. This is the 
what what is it? The table or the deck? This is the deck. This is the hand. <laughs> okay, so we've got a king here. So I need to move it to my hand because I can't place it on any of these. Mm -hmm. Why am I getting so many kings? So how does it work with odd numbers if it doubles up? Mm -hmm. I'll show you here, four, six, or eight. You can put the ace on the king here. Yeah. Looks like it. So this can go Let's here, can go right? There. Go onto the ace there. Does the sweet matter? Oh, damn. No, no, no. Okay, that's six can't. I'm probably playing this very wrong, but. Mm. but she's, she's mumbling, complaining. No, she's explaining to me exactly what I'm doing wrong, but. <laughs> Oh, there's a hint button. What is not? That's mm -hmm. just for this. Okay. okay. Never mind. Can these be moved again? Yes, they can. Okay. Queen. So, how does this work? No. We'll have to go on to the. What happens if I run out of moves? <laughs> Do I go with a 10? There's no 9 or a jack here. Oh, it looks like I just put them anywhere. <laughs> okay. Thought <laughs> they had to be. I can put on the 6. On the 6. I can move them from here. Yeah. Like I said, it doesn't double up, it adds. Okay, and there's a queen on the deck. Yes. What is the queen going? 9. Yeah. So, 9 to 10, 10 to ace, ace to queen. How does. Double. No, it doesn't double. <laughs> so I did the six go to a nine. That's not a double. That's added three. Mm. So this one doubles two, four, six, eight, ten. This is three, six, nine, queen, mm, two, two, five, AF2. four, eight, queen, three. How much does this add per? <laughs> I don't know. Luckily, the game does the calculations for you. Yes. I appreciate that. Yep. Yeah. Okay, the People who are <laughs> very familiar with uh, four kings or calculus or whatever it is is probably shaking their heads in <laughs> disbelief. Okay, you can put this seven on the other seven. Once you put it on something, you can't play the stuff underneath it until you've mm -hmm. removed the top one. So you also have to be careful about that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> Getting scolded here. She looks very angry at my <laughs> lack of skills. Yeah, you're getting a vicious breach here. Yeah. She's not happy with me. Okay. I can't go anywhere yet. Trying to figure out what this one is. Ace, two, three, four. This one just looks like it's sequential. Mm. Right? Oh, no, two, four, six. Okay, no. Mm hmm. Okay, move from. No, you can't move from here. Mm -hmm. Here's the ace. Uh, and the timer. Oh, the, of, oh, can you put the ace on the, on the king? This one. No, it shows. Two. There's nothing flashing here like with these ones. Yeah. This is this eight? This can go here. Right? Mm hmm. So if you move these, I guess they have to obey, because I can put the queen over here now. I mm. can't move this nine anywhere here. Yeah, I have to work out. Yeah. Four can go here. Mm -hmm. I don't have a six currently. You put the queen on the jack. with 10 and then the 9, right? Nope, still not. Mm. That's not good. No. 
You can go here. And then the five. And then the eight. And now the jack is covered there. Okay. Put it there. No. <laughs> or is it stuck, stuck with that? <laughs> no. So a six, a jack, or a queen. So what does this pile do exactly? I don't know. Why is there a yellow check mark next to it at the top as well? I don't know. <laughs> Confusion. Yes. Okay. Wait. What? Which? Expose. Move. So I can't expose anymore because the deck is done. Mm. Let's try the move. Okay. I lost some time there, but it moved one of the cards from the stack to where it was needed. So now I can put the ten here, which frees up the jack. And now I can do the ace. And you can do queen this one. Seven. Ten. No. Okay, queen can go here. An ace. That ace. Means, yes. See, we're making progress. progress. Slowly but surely. If it wasn't for these... Uh, Help assist thingies here. Would have gotten yeah. way worse though. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Queen to the right. So Jack is here. Um, King you should have used here. the other Jack. Because then you would have opened up the ten. Oh, yeah, but there's no space open here. Yeah, but again. Okay. Oh, I can't. No. I thought I could move it. I think once it's there. Okay, can... so where does this queen can go here? Three. Three goes up there. Seven. 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 Now I can use that jack. Yeah. Freeze up that ten. King. This king. Two. Two can seven. go there. Side. Six. No. Side. Ten. Ooh. Nine. And the king. Ooh. Well done. Success. Clear. It only took me seven minutes, <laughs> which is a new record. For you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm. But it looks like I have to play on easy to actually unlock the next character. So mm. that was just the trial run. Mm. Let's see if we can do better and actually unlock the next character. Another character. Or a next, another outfit, sorry, mm. to unlock outfits in this game by beating the girls. Okay, so three can't use that yet, or five. As of all, solitaire also has an element of luck involved. Mm -hmm. e, still not. Game's not taking any mercy on me. Because mm -hmm. it helps to put the same cards on top of each other. Been muttering with you. Could have put the three over the other three. Okay, four. Now we're getting somewhere. And the six. Six. To eight. Do we have an eight? No eight. And have a two, six, and eight. Here. Even over there, Jack over here. This can turn into a disaster. Mm -hmm. Okay, eight here it. or here. Um, so this next one will be what? A queen. Yes, let's go here. Mm -hmm. oh, no, no it was on the other one. No, no. Still no right track. Mm -hmm. Pulled me senpai, but with that skull on her face, I don't think it was a good way. <laughs> uh, Seven. This just proves that the game is so accessible that you don't even have to know how to play <laughs> Forking Solitaire to actually have fun with it. Mm -hmm. You can figure it out as you go, as yes. being demonstrated here live now. <laughs> okay, seven. No. I if you like being scolded by pretty girls, this is also the game for you. <laughs> it would be nice if they added the translation, at least in text or something, for these. Yeah, so you know what she's yelling at you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I thought you tune out stuff like that in any case. 
No comment. <laughs> they are too okay. busy speaking with minds. Yes, don't distract me now <laughs> with the antagonistic comments. <laughs> Six. You. you never get scolded, that's why you need to play games like this so you can know what it feels like. Okay, here we go. Three, four, five. So this one is just basically sequential. You can use the queen there on top of the nine. Oh, oh there we go. And then the other queen as well. The other queen goes here. Yes. You also have a three. You can use that nine as well. Nine. Second. Here. Okay. Jack can go here. So this one is complete or what? Yeah. Okay. That's nice. That's what the yellow check mark is. Yeah. Oh, Somehow I completed that one without even realizing. Okay. This seven can go here. And then the jack. Don't have a two yet. The six can go over here. And then the seven. Don't have an eight yet, eh? Okay. Feels like we are making progress. Progress, yeah. Uh, okay, if I eight and a two. Oh. Oh, here comes the two. Which side are we going to put it on? So this one's going to need a ten. This one is going to need a what? An eight. So mm -hmm. this one. And I need a six. How do I keep misjudging? <laughs> keep jumping. Uh, jumping makes eight. Nine. Come on, senpai! Ah. Yes, suspense. <laughs> I know. I know, I covered uh, both things. You can put the 8 here on the first corner. Ah, yes, here we go. 8, and then you can do the nine. 9, and then put the 10 over here. And the ace over here. 5. Got another 9, and finish off with king. So oh. that one is also done. Yeah, this is basically more a game against the clock than anything else. Oh, it's solitary. Uh, but I guess you can also seriously screw things up and not be able yeah, to you can get stuck and finish, which is not good. Um, Jack. It's Jack goes here. Queen. Queen. King. And the king. That one is done. Mm -hmm. So we just need two. one more stack. With two. There we go. There's our two. And now I covered our five. Five, yeah, why did you do that? <laughs> you just demonstrated how to screw yourself over. Yep. Wait, there's a... Is wasn't there an undo or something? Dame. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> that was the why did you dumbest do that? thing I could do. <laughs> Luckily there's that move. <laughs> now we need the eight. Jack. Eight. Ace. Four, seven, ten, and king. There we go. <laughs> Success. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Easy beginner. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, see, I'm getting better. Mm -hmm. So we've unlocked <laughs> this hut for them for Yeah, they say they've also uh, improved the dressing room aspect of the game, mm -hmm. which is available in all of these pretty good cool titles uh, basically you can customize the position of the characters their facial expressions and their costumes and it can be up to six of them placed in the room at the same time mm -hmm. so you've got this whole diorama where you can move the characters zoom in and out and all of that okay change the background and then view it nice yeah mm -hmm. Change the expression too. So yeah, that's pretty, yeah. pretty neat. Nice little extra. Very cool. I like the fact that it's got a help function for beginners. <laughs> yeah. You just want to chill and play a little bit of solitaire. And... Yeah, it's a different take on solitaire. I mean, everyone knows how to play traditional solitaire, but this is the first time I've played this version of it. Mm. And it's going to keep track of all your stuff here so you can see exactly how you improve or not. But yeah, this is Pretty Girls for King Solitaire, and it's going to be out when? March 17th. There we go, 17th of March on Steam for only $5. <laughs> and also have a 20% off launch sale to commemorate the release for the first week for this, the uh, 15th. 15th Pretty Girls game. 
Awesome. So, yeah, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Remember to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoy our videos. Until next time. Bye.